Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. I am Aditya, co-founder of Garchi and welcome back again to this Nuxt series. So in the previous video, we saw how to include the custom head tags, meta tags and how to include the font awesome library and have this icon over here. In this video, we are going to see how to create a component, render a component and display it over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to index.view and just remove everything from here. Like you can see already there is a logo component. So I'll see, I will use our own header component like a menu bar. So I'll just remove it from here. And if I go to the components, I already have created it, created one. So this is nothing but the nav bar. And I'll tell you each code section what it means so don't worry so how it works is uh before we go jump to component let's let's go to next config.js and also for reference you can refer the component directory for using components in next.js but uh, i'll just explain it how it works in general so here in this uh, config.js which is generally for the next function uh, latest Nuxt.js uh, version so i guess it's something along two point something if i am correct uh, let me double check yeah so it's 2.13 so after that you can straight away have your components auto imported <coughs> sorry so how it works is you need to put this components value as true in your Nuxt config.js so that Nuxt.js knows it has to auto load the component it don't have to worry about like user importing it and etc etc if i go to my header dot view now here so as you can see inside the components folder we have our header dot view uh you can name it anything you can name it menu dot view or anything like that but just make sure that the first letter is capital and inside that always like we have like a template then a script and then one root div tag and everything inside that div tag as i am using tailwind so uh, i'm using all these tailwind classes don't worry we, i'm going to also create component from scratch for our other purposes uh like uh make when i make an axios request and how to render things and everything so at that time i'll explain like some tailwind classes as well so don't worry uh but just for now uh, our main focus is to see how to create a component and render it so here we have our component code like the html code actually and here we have something known as nuxt link so nuxt like view has its own predefined components so one component we saw in the default dot view which was nuxt which renders all the pages there is this component now which is nuxt link so what it does is it is literally like the anchor tag like it's no different it's literally like the anchor tag and it is exactly it is exactly the replication of router link for plain view so whenever you click on this it will take you so suppose if i click on the home on my uh, next uh, menu bar sorry my menu bar it will take me to the home section and then there it will just show me a uh, uh, the home page so it renders it dynamically without the page refresh and you know, the you, you your user won't even notice that the page is refreshed so that's the beauty of using nuxt link the one thing to remember here is nuxt link is only 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 used for internal links you cannot use external links using nuxt link for external links you need to use proper anchor tag like a tag for internal links you can use nuxt link <laughs> so let's see how this header looks so if i go here uh, quickly refresh the page so let me see what's wrong yeah i haven't included the header so i have this header now so how to use it you can either use it in the default or uh, temp layout in your layout or you can use it in either of your page it depends but when you use it so i can simply use it as it is and i don't have to write any import statement or something like that to import this component why because we already set auto import to true so nuxt knows which component to target and how to target so what it does is it goes to this header and then goes to the components directory so you need to make sure that if you are auto importing the components your all components are in the components directory and then from there it just pick up the component 
according to the name. If you have nested components, suppose if I had say dashboard and in that dashboard folder, I had all the dashboard components. So I will simply write something like this dashboard and sorry, dashboard and header. So Knux knows that it's going to be dashboard and then header. So this is how the nomenclature works. So if let's see first the header component and then we will see how it fits in the subfolder. So if I now go over here and if you see I have the header component, if I click on home, it takes me to the home. If I click on about, it takes me to the about. And it's I also made it kind of responsive. So if I put it here, I can close it like this and I'll show you how it works in responsive mode. So now if I go to home, it doesn't collapse. Why? Because the state, like the layout state is not changed. What is changed is this Nuxt thing. So this whatever page we are rendering that is changed while this thing remains as it is. So to let no Nuxt that we have went to a different route, just put it down. We will use the concept of watcher. Okay. So I will explain the concept of watcher in next uh, video because I don't want to mix too many concepts in this video. So what I will do is I'll just explain it in the next video. So I, I will show you how to do it, uh, like how to collapse the menu on page change. So how we are expanding it is simply uh, if you are familiar with view, you can use those view uh, events like add the rate click. And if you are new to view, so in that case, uh, you have a click function. So in JavaScript, you have something like document.querySelector.onClick. So, or something like add event listener click. So when you click it, something happens. So in the same way in Vue.js, you have add the rate click. So when you do add the rate click, it goes down all the way and goes to the expand function. So in the expand function, what we are doing here is we have a variable which is uh, like a show the nav responsive. So it will just show the nav. And if it's false, we are just putting it the height of 24. If it's true, we are just making the height of screen. So that's how we are doing it. So it's pretty straightforward. And yeah, that's it. Now let's see how we can deal with the nested components. So I'll create a directory here. So it's a new folder. And suppose if I have a dashboard, and all my dashboard component will be in the header. Sorry, my, uh, yeah, in the dashboard folder. So I'll just move it over here. Move. And now if I go to my page over here, it will show me an error. It will show me that the component is not found or something like that. Or it's not able to pick up that component. So actually it's not showing me the error, but it's not picking up the component. So how we can show the components so it's pretty straightforward if i go to default uh, view and if i just type here dashboard save it go back here i have my component back again that's how you do it you can you first need the name of the folder and then the name of the component suppose if your component name is in pascal case like camel case so generally you don't have to do it because you start with the capital letter but suppose if you are starting with each letter of your word as a capital letter in that case what you could do is uh, you can just use a snake case like dashboard slash header provided that okay it's kind of getting confusing so i'll just create it and show you so suppose if uh, I re rename this as say header dashboard. So now in this case, I can do something like dashboard. And if I save it, nothing changes. Everything is as it is. If I refresh the page, it's still there. Or I can also write something like dashboard header dashboard. It will be still the same. So just to avoid confusion and for clean coding, you can put a hyphen that your uh, team knows that this is like not in a subdirectory so it's like a dashboard and then there's a header dashboard so this is how you render the components and this is how you put it on the page and use it you can also use it in the page as well so you can just remove it from here and put it over here it won't make any difference so if i just make it so it will be just inside the page it will just go down so that's the difference it will make nothing don't, nothing more than that so I'll keep it in the default section as it is. 
and then we will have it just one component like this so that's all about components in the next section we will see how to use watcher and like the watch property and see how we can collapse the component sorry the nav bar till then goodbye